Hello, I'm Adam from Great Britain, and I love China very much, especially Chinese food. When I first came to China, my friends in Beijing and Shanghai invited me to eat Shuanyang Ro and Kouro Chan, Fecha Fecha Hot. I knew from eating this mutton that it came from Xinjiang province in China, from the pastures of Xiaobai. Having been to Europe, Australia, and America, many of the world's ranches, I must say that China's Xinjiang, Xinjiang's pastures, the sheep of Xiaobai, really have the most delicious mutton I've tried. So it became a real attraction for me. In order to find out more, I came to Xinjiang and started my exploration of the pastures and a gourmet tour. Whilst eating breakfast, locals told me about the ancient city sites with thousands of years of history located only 20 kilometers from Muli. Apparently, a few years ago, an ancient gold plate had been unearthed, so I am very eager to go and see these marvellous sites. According to the surrounding topography, I think the ruins were originally an ancient fortress or post house. I knew that the walls are built by Gandale. This is a very typical building method in dry climates. Besides wooden doors and windows, the whole walls are built with mud. Pile mud between two planks of wood, ram the soil with a hammer, and then remove the wooden boards. These walls remain very strong, and as the climate of Xinjiang is dry, they have stayed standing for thousands of years. Hitching a lift to move on, the driver took me the rest of the distance across the road map to a place near Valiko, and it's here that I finally saw the flocks and pastures. Due to Xinjiang having a vast territory and complex terrain, there are various types of grassland. For example, Xiaobai's summer pasture in high altitude regions have lush grass growth making it look like a green carpet. It really feels like you might be in another country here, perhaps Ireland, perhaps Australia. Other kinds of pastures exist. Those with a special alkaline grass, which as you can see are withered and yellow, are similar to the Middle Eastern pastures. This is typical Gobi Desert grassland. At an altitude of a thousand meters, the Gobi areas have water shortages generating a special saline, alkali type grassland. As it rarely rains here, the grasses have less water, and yet they are still rich in minerals with a high salt content. Through eating this alkali grass, the sheep become more nutritious, and when compared with sheep in other areas, the mutton has a special and unique flavor. The Chinese have a saying, Yi fang shui tu, yang yi fang ren. And the sheep are the same. Yi fang shui tu, yang yi chun yang. Taking China as a whole, the southern regions are moist and the northern regions are dry. Dry places have alkali soil and grass, so it's not surprising that delicious lamb is the major product of Xinjiang. Shi zai Xinjiang, wan zhan mu chang. In the next episode, I will visit the home of a Balikan herdsman, experience the real life of nomad, taste unique food, and reveal the secret as to why Xinjiang mutton is so delicious. Stay tuned.